What is good, family? It's your girl Renee B, also known as Queen Suma. If you're not already a subscriber on my YouTube channel, I want to go ahead and invite you to select that subscribe button, then hit the bell, select all so you can be notified anytime I record a video and post it. You'll be notified anytime that I go live on YouTube. I also go live on TikTok, so you can follow Queen Suma B, and the B stands for billions on um TikTok. I also have an Instagram if you want to jam with me over there. I do have music that can be used on your post for your social media, um, Instagram, TikTok, maybe even on Twitter. If you have the option of putting music on your post, you can look up Queen Suma and my songs that they have in the catalog up there will be able to be posted. I appreciate those of you guys who have been streaming my most recent song, Hit It. And my husband said something interesting happened. It was like a random moment when um like six people were listening at one time and i was just like finding that interesting because he really does watch that stuff way closer than i do um i don't do what i do for numbers take my truck stretching is confirmation if y'all watched any of my other videos that i've recorded in this truck y'all know that i use that as confirmation but i do not do anything that, that i do for likes or for views i do what i do for creative expression i do what i do to bless other people at the very least make them smile and anything that comes to me that's good as a result of something that i've done is just a blessing it's just a bonus you feel me um i heard somebody say that you're good um you're like an ice cream sundae with whipped cream you know and it'd be just as good without whipped cream you feel me that's how i feel now <laughs> I'm not sure when you're watching this here, but this is Thursday. It's the day after. Look, let me cover up smiles. Um, it's Thursday. Yeah, I think it's Thursday. the day after Valentine's Day in the year 2024. And if you're anything like me, you've been in a relationship for multiple years. You've been married for more than two or three years. You were in a relationship with the person before you got married. And certain programs like Valentine's Day um, are just not necessary to participate in the ways that you normally would. But I still was able to, you know experience love receive love show love and all of that stuff um but i already knew how i was gonna be for this valentine's i knew that i was probably gonna wait but we still ended up doing something sentimental for valentine's day i realized like we've been going through some things you know um the word that the Holy Spirit gave me just now was spiritual warfare, you know. I've been having to deal with desires in my flesh that I thought would be alleviated after being married. Things that my husband seems to not even struggle with, you know. So I'm thankful that I can be open, honest, and transparent with him about what I'm going through. And that definitely does help me, you know, with whatever I'm struggling with. But ultimately, this last week has been a blessing. Um, my daughter had a dental procedure that resulted in maybe over six of her baby teeth being removed. And I was able to move forward with grace and with peace with watching her recover from that because she had to go under anesthesia. And all of the things that could typically happen as a result of having this type of procedure didn't happen with her she went on to be her normal little self um she didn't experience any fever she didn't experience any intense pain that required me to administer medicine nothing compared to the pain that she was feeling at first which was alleviated after going through various um treatments um we were giving her salt water wrists we were giving her oil gel we were making sure that she kept her teeth clean and refrained from eating sweets and stuff like that um to the best of our ability and she ended up um they also ended up giving her some antibiotics a couple weeks ago 
to prepare her for the procedure and she was on like a waiting list but they kept on getting her in it was kind of like last minute and with the procedure you gotta like go a certain amount of time without eating so we finally found a perfect spot and got it done definitely was in there praying but the dentist kept on giving me this vibe like chill i know what i'm he kept giving me the, uh, this vibe, like, chill, I know what I'm doing. You know, they, they ask you if you have any questions, you know, but I was feeling like they didn't. Never mind. Everything went well. Um, this is a dental physician that I've gone to for many years. I have multiple children, and I took other children to him for services and stuff like that. He always does well, does very quick. I uh, wasn't able to sit in with her for this but it did ended up going by maybe in less than an hour so um i need to be in there next i want to go next it's, it's been a while since i went to the dentist um and i want to go before i start having any tooth pain before i start having any crazy decaying cavities and things like that i like to go in when I sense it, because I definitely can tell when I do have some, um, like my teeth are getting weak in some areas. Um, yeah, so dealing with that in the weekend, and I don't know, it's been the essence of a vacation. Let me just say that. I feel like I'm on a vacation of some sort. I'm about to start looking like I'm on a vacation of some sort. The Holy Spirit just put in my spirit to tell you to protect your prosperity. You don't got to let everybody know what you doing. You don't got to let everybody know what you have coming in. You don't got to let everybody know exactly what's going on with you. Especially if you have insight that they're in your business just uh, with malicious intentions. Um, if you know that a person only talks to you for poops and giggles, that they get in your business for something to um, joke about as their entertainment, like you can keep your, your precious things to yourself. The things that you really care about, the things that you enjoy, you don't got to share that with everybody. Um, the Lord said people going to be trying to throw salt in your game. You know what I'm saying? And normally it's game G A M E people throwing salt in the game. G A M E God said he, people going to be trying to throw salt in your game. G A I N meaning your increase. So the way it seems is like when, yeah, when you think something is wonderful, it could be the most minute thing, but it has a sentiment to you. So it's valuable. They're going to try to throw salt in it. It ain't all that, you know, such and such said it better. Such and such had more, blah, blah, blah. You feel me? And you could have protected yourself from having to go through the reconditioning that is required after being by a Debbie, a Debbie Downer, a, a David Downer. You feel me? If you could have just, you could have just protected your peace with silence. You could have just protected your peace by not sharing this wonderful thing with the freaking pig. God said, do not cast your pearls into swine. And that's so interesting because my husband and I did a study on pearls recently because he wanted to know exactly what was the function of a pearl. Why was it, why, why is it cultivated in these, um, in these, um, organisms? And we found out that it's a defense mechanism. It is something culture to keep parasites out. And we started looking up the price of pearls and things like that because I really love natural pearls and I love when they are so natural that they are not the same shape. That they're not this perfectly round looking vessel or sphere. I like when they're all a little, every stone on a link or the necklace is a different shape. It just seems authentic to me when it like that. But anyway, the video may be extended more than the length that is visible here. So if you want to see the full version, make sure you go look at it on YouTube. Um, but don't cast your pearls to swine because they'll trample over them. They get it dirty. 
you know, and then you can't even get mad because they swine. You knew, you knew they was a freaking pig. You knew they was, I don't know, because some people love pigs. I, I think pigs can be rather beautiful and cute. You know, you just shouldn't eat them too much. Um, I'm, I don't mind a bacon bit every now and then, but, um, anyway, that's neither here nor there. Uh, shout out to the people who follow me that aren't believers. Shout out to the people who follow me that aren't necessarily a Christian, um, who aren't in church. You know what I'm saying? But you still feel God. You still feel the essence of truth you still gravitate towards wisdom you still make sure you maintain a pure heart uh you're not a frivolous being you aren't a people pleaser you don't really get wrapped up in folks opinion because you're on a mission shout out to the people who follow me that operate in good intentions i love to say a rhyme that says, deity or divinity, either way, go remember me. Long as I serve my purpose, I know I'm going to make history. It's not a mystery. Everything that God gives to me seems to bring me peace and annihilate all my misery. I look real serious, but I'm so breezy, like easy peasy, squeezing lemons ain't easy. I'm always there for all the people that needs me. I'm never out, but I'm always looking queasy. Yeah. Or I meant to say clean, I'm really nice, even though my face may look mean. My family always have everything that they need, and I'm always giving God glory, no, what I mean. Yeah, do you know what I mean? I like to take good care of the people on my team. Uh, yeah. <laughs>